crack your passion. Many of you guys might be looking at me like, are you crazy? What is wrong with you? Why would you make a video saying crack your passion? Because there's a lot of mixed, you know, information on the internet talking about how if you find your passion, you'll never work a day in your life. And I think that's great. You know, I think that's great advice. If you are 10 years into your career, if you have already established something in your life, if you have already accomplished something great and, and you want to get into your passion. But you see, for myself seven years ago, if someone told me that I need to look for my passion and I need to just focus on that, I would look at them and thought they were crazy. And here is why. Seven years ago, I had just lost my restaurant and I had just gotten to $150,000 in debt. I was 25 years old. I had just met a, my girlfriend. I thought she meant the world to me and I thought that she was something special that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And I had nothing. I was presented with a job offer, $60,000 a year. And I thought it was incredible. But then looking back and thinking about, you know, well, how am I going to pay for my bills? How am I going to clear my debt? How am I going to do all these things? And, and settle everything that I need to do and provide for my future family, it just didn't make sense. And had I focused on trying to find my passion, I wouldn't be sitting here because at the time, I didn't even know what my passion was. When you have bills lined up, when you have you know debt, when you have debt collectors calling you every day, when you have people that you want to make proud, you're not thinking about your passion. For me, it was just doing it the hard way in order for me to find my passion. The cool thing is if you focus on, you know, getting your financial, you know, position settled and, and you put yourself in a better financial position, you will have some time, you will have some freedom for you to think about what are the things that actually fulfill you in life. And that's the thing that needs to happen in order for you to have a fulfilling life. In the beginning of our careers, we're thinking about, I just want to make sure that if I want to go out to dinner, I don't have to like stare at the menu for 30 minutes because everything is above my pay grade. If I want to buy groceries, if I want to buy something for my children or my wife or my husband or my dad or my mom for Christmas, I don't want to have to budget for two years for me to do that. If I want to take a vacation once a year, I'm not even talking about once a quarter. I'm talking about once a year. I want to be able to do that and not have to budget for five years, right? That's kind of the stepping stone into financial freedom. Now, once you have all these things figured out, then yes, it is important for you to figure out your passion. For myself, it was helping people discover and create awareness in their life. So that way they can discover their passion. So that way they can live a free life. Now, freedom isn't always financial freedom. And it isn't always, I want to have a million dollars in the bank. Some of you watching this might be thinking, I want to have a million dollars in the bank. I want to have $10 million in the bank. I want to have $100 million in the bank. Some of you are like, dude, I don't care for all that. I just want to be able to make an extra two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 a month. Some of you are like, you know, I just want to make what I'm making right now. What I make is good. I, I, you know, I live a good life, but I just hate my job because I go working for someone that does not appreciate me, for someone that doesn't really care for me. I just want to be able to live a good life and enjoy what I'm doing because, you know, I make good money. Everyone in my life is actually pretty happy, right? So in the beginning of your journey, you want to start something that is going to give you financial stability. And once you have done that, once you're not in survival mode all the time, because for you to find your passion, you have to come from a place of abundance. It can't be from a place of scarcity. When I realized that, you know, my passion is about helping people accomplish greatness in their lives, I wasn't stressed out about paying bills. I had hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank. I had a business generating tens of thousands of dollars in profits every single month. And I was pretty much bored with my life. And because I was bored with my life and because I had so much time to actually think, that's when it clicked for me. And that's when I realized that, you know what? I am meant for much more in life. I am meant for greatness, for doing a lot more than just providing for myself and for my family. I want to be able to provide for others and their families. So whatever your calling is, whatever it is that you want to accomplish in life and you want to be known for in life, it probably won't come to you when you are in survival mode because every single person has this inner wisdom inside of them. And that inner wisdom will simply not come out unless we are in that abundance place. This is why people say, yeah, you know, I just had a good gut feeling about this, or I had a bad gut feeling about this. The whole thing about our gut, not a, a theoretical, it's not like this woo-woo thing. It's actually true. If we allow it time, if we allow it space, that wisdom will come up and it'll actually give us information to make better decisions. So again, when you're first starting out, you want to focus on your decision making and on your finances and get that stabilized so that way you can have some room and some space for your wisdom to come up and for you to actually find what your passion is. Outside of that, hope you guys found this video valuable. If you did, share with someone who you think will find it valuable and will actually benefit from. Let me know in the comments what you think and what other videos you want me to make on this channel. Outside of that, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.